All right, well, let's get started. Then, um, guess Dimitri and Happy. Hmm. Happy, you must know that it's rather uncomfortable to be the subject of such an unflinching gaze. Yeah? You'll have to put up with it for a little while longer. I feel like I can almost remember. Remember? Apologies. But I'm not sure what you're referring to. Care to elaborate? I have this sense that we met somewhere. Before we were students. Nah, hold up. But you're the Prince of Fargus. So how could I have met you? I do not recall meeting you previously either. Although, long ago, I sometimes accompanied my father as he traveled the kingdom. Perhaps we crossed paths. Maybe? Unlikely. I lived in an isolated village in the forest. We didn't have contact with outsiders. They know each other? After I ran away, I was kidnapped. And my kidnapper kept me locked up all day and night. I think I'd remember if the royal family had stopped by for a visit. Kidnapped? What do you mean by that? A lady found me, a helpless runaway, and offered to take me in. She promised to keep me safe. Instead, I became her test subject. She experimented on me with all kinds of spells and rituals. Can't help but wonder if her hair was different before. I had a roof over my head and plenty to eat. But otherwise, it was a pretty bad experience. Mm. This may be unwelcome from a stranger like myself. But I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable to be angry about such unfortunate circumstances. Oh, that's... Interesting, considering Felix's previous support. I can't fathom why someone would cause you pain like that. I'm sorry you had to endure such a thing. You have every right to feel anything you need to feel toward the person responsible for your suffering. Yeah, Dimitri, this is interesting. Oh, that's weird. Hmm, I wonder. What's the matter? Was it something I said? It's just that I've heard those words before. I think it was someone else who said them, but I can't remember who. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. In the meantime, see you around. Yes, of course. If our meeting again can help you in any way, you need only ask, and I'll be there. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. And hang on, my headphones cut off. Okay, well, in that case, let's go to Felix and Ingrid, I guess. I mean, Dimitri and Ingrid. Ingrid? I've been doing some thinking, and it occurs to me that I owe you an apology. Really? What? Why do you seem so serious? In a just world, you would be happily married to Glenn. Why are you apologizing for that? He... He truly loved you. And it's clear that you care deeply for him as well. But on that awful night, he died right before my eyes. I could do nothing to prevent it. You know, I'm thinking Dimitri's a straight-up Avenger. He's like, I'm sorry, couldn't kill him in time, but next time, best be sure, I'm gonna do it. In a way, I'm responsible for you losing the joyous future that should have been yours. I know my words can change nothing, but I'm so sorry, Ingrid. She doesn't blame me for that. No, Your Highness. There's... There's no need to apologize. Glenn's death, it still doesn't feel real. Fair. I always looked up to Glenn. He was the very picture of a perfect knight, noble and virtuous. You know, now I'm thinking about it, Rodriguez is even more of a trooper. His oldest, I'm guessing his oldest son died, and he still came to look after for Dimitri, even though he was suffering too. In the end, he laid down his life, the ultimate sacrifice. I feel proud of him in ways that words can't quantify. I sincerely hope Rodrigue isn't, uh, isn't gonna betray Dimitri in the future. I sincerely hope he is the cool dude that he seems to be. Proud? Truly? I mean, his son died. Like, I don't think his son died. That's right. I feel proud that he died for those he was sworn to protect. Proud that he passed from this realm to the next as a perfect knight. Well, that's a nice way of looking at it. Are you really trying to turn his needless death into an ideal to uphold? Ugh, you and he are so alike. Hmm. Needless death? 
How can you say that? Interesting, Dimitri. Glenn gave his life for you, for everyone, and this is how you speak of his sacrifice? You weren't there. You didn't witness his last moments. If you had, you wouldn't feel that way. I don't care to hear your interpretation of his final moments. Yeah? He was and will always be an ideal knight. You would do well to rethink that ideal, my friend. Hmm. Pardon me? Oh, did, like this is serious. He served in your guard. He took great pride in what he did, in protecting you. The very least you can do is not spit on his memory. If you'll excuse me. What is the matter with me? Yo, I'm starting to see it though. I'm starting to see the darkness creeping up. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a good time as any to go to feet. Yeah, let's see how this is. Mm. Yum. Mm. <laughs> I've never seen her like this. Uh, so delicious. I'm so content in this moment. I understand that. Uh, Felix. Lysithia, you look mortified. Yeah, you have a, t a pattern of sneaking up on them when they're when they're most vulnerable. How long have you been there? Were you watching me? You were, weren't you? I was, yes. <sighs> For once, I thought I had some privacy. Did you say something? Huh? No. Nope. Didn't say anything at all. Here. What's this for? I'm buying your silence <laughs> with cake. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I'm not sure what to be silent about. If people knew I was shoveling cake into my face by the fistful, they'd think me nothing more than a child. Well, perhaps there is some slight truth to that, but I said, dear, come on now. Adults eat cake. Yeah. You'll never understand. Just take this, will you? No, I don't like sweets. <laughs> okay. Does your refusal mean you'll be telling everyone about my cake shoveling ways? I just don't like sweets, that's all. Nonsense. Nobody can resist something so delicious. Look, I'm giving you this cake whether you like it or not. Eat it, toss it, throw it at an unsuspecting victim. The choice is yours. The choice is yours! Just please, don't mention this to anyone. What was her problem? She has a problem with sweets. And what am I supposed to do with this cake? It's understandable, like, I would think if you're training physically, like, you don't want sugar and stuff like that. It's detrimental. I'm already getting their last support? That's disappointing. In fact, Sylvain only gets a B rank with only a few people. That's interesting. The only A rank, as far as females go, well, Ingrid's one, Mercedes, and then Dorothea. Hmm. What does that say? Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? Oh! But I can explain either way. I, I want to hear that explanation. No, I'm not here to get after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. Yeah. What I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. Hmm. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. Hmm. Nah, I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart. About how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair. Oh, you were worried about that. I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? What? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me, who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. You're not wrong, Sylvain. So, I respect people like you. I mean it. Oh. Is that sincerity? It's kind of creeping me out. It's just so unlike you. <laughs> Fair? Huh? When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. I want to beat you when you're at your best. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. That's what I thought. 
let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. Well, I think she she is saying that based on your merits, on what she saw. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. That's fair. Well, I mean, I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> well, everybody can at some times. I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. Just know that I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. If you stop being that way, I won't have any competition. Wow. <laughs> competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone like you back then, I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me, or...? <laughs> sure thing. Oh! The very next moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. It actually worked! Oh, I see. Some other time, then. I look forward to it, Annette. Huh. Well, that, okay, that's a nice B. That's a nice B. But Ash and Merced has still got some room. Whoa, what happened? The pan's smoking. Right, they were cooking. <laughs> Mercedes, what's going on? Or trying to. Uh, my eyes. I can barely breathe. Oh, Ash, I'm so glad you're here. My cooking's not going very well at all. What did you put in there? I used some of this spice, that seasoning, and the herbs on the top shelf. Then I started frying it in oil. That explains it. <coughs> we uh, use that herb for smoke bombs. Really? Just turn the heat off and cover the pan. Why isn't the kitchen? Oh no. The people in the dining hall don't look so good. Sorry, everybody. Could we clear out the dining hall for a few minutes, please? Wow. Well, some folks were a little annoyed, but at least we got the place cleared out. It's a good thing no one mistook all that smoke for an attack. That could have been a disaster. Yeah? I'm so sorry. I always mess everything up. Again, why was something like that in the kitchen? No, it's my fault. I should have taught you which herbs to avoid. I don't, again, I don't think it's either of your fault. I blame whoever put that in the kitchen. Don't blame yourself. I just need to figure out how to do it right for next time. Next time? You still want to try again, even after all that? Of course. If I didn't, that would just be a waste of everything you taught me. I guess that's true. If you quit every time you made a mistake, then you'd never learn anything, right? Absolutely. That's a great point. Ah, maybe my mistake was frying the herb in oil. If I had boiled it instead, then there wouldn't be smoke. What do you think, Ash? Boiling, huh? Yeah, that'd be fine. I thought so too. Great. I'm gonna get this right next time for sure. I just didn't say it just in case I might be wrong. <laughs> you know, I think about that stuff sometimes too. <laughs> Alright. Well. Well, well, well. Nope. That ought to do it for me. So, the next thing I'm gonna do then. Oh, Leonie had another support. Er, convo. Um. Is. I'm gonna stick to. See the calendar. Oh, well, I'll probably fish. Then I'll do my, um, oh, Yuri's birthday. Now, that is something I hadn't thought about. Because, like, I can do uh, tea time with him, right? But I can always do that another time. I'll probably just give him some flowers. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to do a tea time. Yeah. I'll probably just give him some flowers or something. Um, and then I'll grind, do some battles. It'd be great if I could get my professor rank up to next level. Maybe I'll get to two battles. Um, I don't think I'll come back here because I think we only have two more uh, free days. Well, this has a free day on it. But we have to battle then, so I don't think it matters. But yeah. So, a couple more battles, grind, probably get um, nearly everyone to rank 10. Actually, everyone, hold on for a sec. 
I was getting, uh, d- d- finishing my rounds here at the monastery when Constance had an item. Apparently, she doesn't like to be exposed by sunlight. I'm assuming that has something to do with maybe her per- attitude then, but anyways... My professor level went up, and as you can see, I got more activity points. Now I can do two battles and explore six times, so I actually can do more than one battle. This. Um, I found an owl, owl's feather, which if you forgot, it's effective for everybody. And... I have one support now. And I'm pretty sure you can guess... Reyes. Welcome, Professor. What? This is the first time I have welcomed you here, is it not? Uh... Yes? Why the music, number one? And two... Why Rome? <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. Please, come closer. Okay? When you speak with me here in this room, you are not speaking with the Archbishop, but with Rhea. It's just me. Interesting! I'm still nervous! What a sweet child you are. That worked. Okay? <laughs> My apologies. I should not be treating you like a child. As Gerald's kin, somehow you don't seem at all a stranger to me. I'm more worried about my mother. Speaking of Gerald, may I ask if he ever spoke of me to you? Hmm. Shoot! Do I be honest? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. My. Oh! That does sound like something Gerald would say. Okay! However, one would be remiss to not take circumstance into consideration. Honesty is the best policy, it seems. In order to rise to the role of Archbishop, one must maintain an unbiased approach to judgment. Hmm. It oft requires a certain sternness of words and actions. Unbiased, huh? However, I believe that the person who stands before you now is no longer frightening. At least, that is my hope. I see. <laughs> Since you are here, shall I tell you about the Gerald that I knew? Okay. By the look of it, you haven't heard much about his time at the monastery, have you? No, even to this day. When I first met Gerald, he was quite young. Why, he could not even grow a full beard at that point. On one fateful occasion, the band of mercenaries he belonged to fought alongside the Knights of Seros. Oh, so he was a mercenary before joining the Knights. I was traveling with the Knights at the time, and Gerald jumped in front of an attack meant for me. He was gravely wounded, on the verge of death. I'm wondering if that's... if maybe she healed him by making him, uh, giving her... giving him dragon blood? I tended to his wounds in a desperate attempt to save his life. Thankfully, my efforts were not in vain. Gerald managed to escape a seemingly certain death. I made arrangements for him to receive further care at Garrick Mock. The moment he was deemed fully recovered, I invited him to join the Knights. I'll say the first. Well, it is not a story I have often repeated. Jeez! Even at the monastery, there are not many who know that. I didn't know this could happen in supports. I tell you this because, to me, you are the child of the one who saved my life all those years ago. Saved your life? Again, wonder about that, but... And also... Yeah? Never mind. It is nothing. I simply wanted to say that I trust you. This might be how I get the info that I need, and why it's not, it, well, why it wasn't in Claude's route. But I think it could have been, because now that I think about it, I think I did get a C rank with Rhea, but it was locked. It's probably because you have to do it early, not late. By coming to visit with me today, you have, well, suffice it to say that my day is brighter than it otherwise would have been. I thank you for that. No problem. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'll have to keep working on that. But the second thing is I decided on something else. Marianne. Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. It's time to get you back in the house. Oh, Professor. Hello. Excuse me. I... I have to go. X. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? So, only Raph was cool? If I, yeah, I gotta be with Raph. Raph's like, hey man, I'll join right now. Okay. Well, so much for that. And unfortunately, I can't do anything else about Marianne because I used up all my renown, so it's kind of not an option at the moment. Okay, well, um, well, yeah. You gotta think. Plan B. Yep. We continue as plan or er, business as usual. I need enough uh, points in order to recruit or er, get Marianne's A rank unlocked. I think it's just 400. One mission should do it, or two, or a couple, or. Whatever these quests are, which require me doing um, missions. So, we'll take care of that. Maybe it just wasn't meant at this moment in time. So, that's fine. Um, I'm wondering if I should wait till next month. I'll see. But for now... Let's try to instruct... Gotta keep working hard. Okay. C plus for Lysithia for a reason. I've got a grasp on this. That was challenging. C plus for Ingrid's lances. Hit and run. And Lance Prowess level three. It all makes sense now. Yes, that's it. And Annette reached C for gambits or battalions. Am I making progress? <laughs> I'll get the next one too. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay, and I think, yeah, that's a restore from Mercedes. This isn't so hard. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it again next time. And our first B. D plus it for deduce armor. Improved. Doesn't give anything, though. Okay. And those were the, was it five or six this time? Five still. That I trained. There's something I'd like you to tell me. Uh oh. I enjoy a good ghost story, but I've never seen a ghost. Mm. Hmm. That might work. Okay. And now we actually can give Yuri a shot. Maybe you asked me here for a reason, yeah? Well, at the very least, this should be interesting. Thanks. It's lukewarm. Lukewarm? Okay. Hmm? Word of advice? Overcoming weaknesses? So. Okay. Yeah. Oh shoot, what was the second one? Cool. Thanks for the treat, friend. Let's do this again sometime, yeah? That gum. Okay. Okay, well, we got one thing. It's all coming together. Annette got recover. Okay. All things considered, pretty good. All right. Well, with that said, um, I think now I will take my leave of you all. I'll do, there's nothing else I need to show. Um, not doing, not doing that. No need to. Um, I'll either decide to do two battles or I might go back to the monastery. 
if I do, then, well, you'll know what I do, um, though I'm thinking I might just wait till next month to get Marianne, because we're already in, been trying to focus on the battles, uh, maybe get some more certifications, but until then, this has been Blade, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. And now it's time for the question of the day. And for this one, I'm gonna ask you all, do you like sweets? I feel like I might have asked this before in the Golden Deer route, but it's been so long, I can't remember. And you know, we might as well treat this like a different series because well, I don't know how long this is gonna last. I imagine it's gonna be shorter than the Golden Deer route, but still, I can't possibly remember every single question I did in that, <laughs> in that playthrough, so. And if it is with this question, so please post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.